to do a bat transex survey. Transex are useful for monitoring bat activity in areas where wind turbines may be erected or if a new building is going to be developed on a new plot of land. The first thing to consider when doing a bat transect survey is where the site is, what type of site it is, how to get to the site, your travel arrangements and health and safety precautions. It is a requirement for health and safety reasons for more than one person to go on a bat transect. It is also handy as one person can record the bat activity whilst the other has the detector if the site is small. The equipment that you will need is also important. Not only will you need a survey sheet and a recording bat detector, you must also bring a torch, PPE suitable for the outdoors, such as sturdy walking boots and an emergency first aid kit. For larger sites, each person should have a detector, sheet and radio. They will start at different points of the transect. One person should be in the lead and it is their responsibility to check on everyone during the transect. This means that you can cover a greater area at the same time so you're not missing bats. For sites that bat activity is being monitored for long periods of time, then static bat detectors should be deployed in suitable but hidden areas within the site. The survey should last for two hours and unlike bat emergence surveys, the survey does not need to start 15 minutes before sunset, but at sunset. This is because we are interested in bat activity rather than recording bat roosting features. Although, if you do see an emergence, be sure to write it down. It is always good to arrive before sunset to set up your equipment and familiarise yourself with the site. If there are known to be horseshoe bats utilising the site, then the transect must last for a total of three hours. Print out a map of your survey site with the route that you will take. You should, leave, you should stop at least seven to nine times throughout your route depending on the length of your survey. You must stand at each point for at least 10 minutes and slowly walk to your next survey point while continuously looking out for bats. Get out your bat detector and make sure it's ready and set up to record before the start of the survey. Don't forget to record your vital information such as weather and temperature before the survey starts. Begin your survey. During your survey the areas you should concentrate on are trees, bushes, slow moving water bodies such as ponds and any other areas that the bats may commute or forage near. In a bat emergence survey you are looking for emergencies whereas during a bat transit you are looking for levels of bat activity and what species are utilising the site. Things to look out for are species, number of bats, flight, height and behaviour. The majority of our UK bats are very fast and small, so be aware of this when conducting a transect. Also, it does get dark very quickly, especially in wooded areas, so there will be a time during the survey where you can no longer see them, but you can still hear them. Record their flight lines on your map and write the time that you saw them fly on or near the site. Record the species and make sure you can match this information with your map e.g. flight line A on the map is bat A on the survey sheet. You can record bats whilst you walk to another point if there is a lot of activity. Make sure you stay at that point looking around you for bats for the allocated amount of time. The flight lines are more important than the bats you've heard but not seen so make sure you record these first. Do not use your mobile phone when surveying for bats as you will be with another surveyor so you can communicate easily. The glare from the screen can impact your night vision, reducing your ability to see bat in the, bats in the dark. Keep the use of mobile phones to emergency use only. If you follow these instructions then hopefully you'll have a successful bat transect survey.